I made it to Lyon. It was kind of a mess getting here. Um, there was a giant train strike in Paris and a giant protest. So I almost missed the train. I ended up by like three giant bags, two backpacks, and a little purse with me and had to like literally run for like probably the last five minutes of like my journey to the train station trying to like catch the train before it left. Um, so honestly I kind of just wanted to puke right when I got on the train but I made it. I'm here I'm in the old. I just got it crap off the street. Um, this little street that I'm staying on has like a bunch of different little like food trucks happening. Some of them are like crepes and other things like you know for lunch and then there's also like groceries like I just passed one truck that was all just meat. So it was basically like a mobile butcher which was really cool. So I'm just heading to the Fine Arts Museum here in Lyon now. I figure it's kind of the perfect like, way to like ease into the afternoon. It's very they have, um, I think it's the second largest, I'm gonna get the hair out of my face, um, second largest like fine arts museum in France. Um, I believe the one I went to with Lille was the third. Um, the first. Oh my god, it's windy. Uh, so I'm gonna have my crap, it's sugar and butter, as you do, and then uh, we'll check out the museum. done checking out the Fine Arts Museum, which is behind me. Uh, Lyon's museum is one of the largest in France. However, not all of the exhibits were open today. Um, they were kind of vague about why, so I don't think it's under construction. I think maybe they just had like a field trip or something in certain like areas. They closed like, I, some things were like closed to the public. It was kind of like general. I asked the lady if tomorrow things were going to be open a bit more and she said she had no idea. Um, so that was very like vague, but overall the museum was really cool, spent about three hours just kind of wandering around. There's lots of Degas, uh, Monet, there's some Picasso, tons of like religious stuff, which personally for me I can kind of just walk by it, like I appreciate it, it's nothing I really need to like sit and stare at. but. If you're into religious artwork, it's there. Uh, an extra time for that. Overall, it was really impressive. The building um, used to be in the 17th century an old like, monastery, so that was cool. You walk in, and there's kind of like a square, like garden area you can just hang out in. There's a restaurant and cafe, a little gift shop. It's really cute, but I've got to say, yeah. I'm kind of surprised considering that Lyon is a bigger city than Lille. I thought Lille's museum had a lot more to offer. Personally, I preferred that one over the one I saw today. They were both nice, but I've got to say so far, like, museum-wise, Lille is definitely winning. So I'm just going to start wandering around. I haven't seen much of the city yet, and, well, we'll see how we like it. The good news is the wind's died down and it's actually kind of warm today, so bonus points there.
to really fall in love with Lyon. Um, which is surprising considering I haven't seen that much of it yet. Um, I got a late start today. I got in this morning and then did a little bit of work and then did a museum. And I've just kind of been wandering around the like last three hours, just kind of seeing what I stumble upon. So I'm walking along, I think it's the Rhone um, River right now. I'm actually kind of like reminded partly of Paris, partly of like almost Menton or like somewhere in the south of France because of the colorful buildings. It's really kind of the best of both worlds. You get a metropolitan city, it's one of the largest in um, France, but like the vibe here is very mellow. Like nobody's really in a rush, everything's very chill, which is very similar to like what you'd find in the south of France. Um, so this is kind of the perfect in-between place to hang out. I'm dying to come back here and like the spring or ideally the summer to experience it a little bit more when it's not quite so chilly and windy but like overall it's gorgeous um my one like thing I wish I would have done a little bit differently um which because this was a last minute trip I really couldn't have done but for next time there's a lot of Michelin starred restaurants in Lyon and even a few like Michelin Beebs which are basically like Michelin recommended but not starred. Typically they're recommended for having like outstanding quality and good value. So if you can't afford to do something that's Michelin starred, sometimes looking for like a Michelin bead place is a great way to go. Um, but unfortunately, all of those places are booked like months in advance. So I'm hoping, I'm gonna look again tonight to see if maybe somebody canceled and I can get lucky tomorrow. But if not, I'm just gonna research and try to find somewhere equally as good to try like the local Leonese food. Um, I'm not 100% sure what qualifies as Leonese at this point. So that's gonna be part of my research tonight. But I do know they love their cheese. Um, so I have a feeling I'm gonna be on board with whatever this cuisine is.